Today's topic of discussion is all about a beautiful bird named Roseate Spoonbill. Roseate Spoonbills might look like flamingos, but they aren't. Native to Americas, these large pink birds get their coloring from a unique source. They can be found in zoos all over the world and if you're lucky, you just might see one in its native habitat the next time you visit the southernmost part of Florida. Today, roseate spoonbills are listed as least concern which means they are not threatened with extinction. But that hasn't always been the case. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, these birds were nearly hunted to extinction for their bright plumage. In fact, they used to exist in a much broader range in North America. But after such extensive hunting, they now only live in few selected areas of United States. Thankfully, this species has rebounded and is no longer at risk of extinction. Like flamingos, roseate spoonbills feature feathers in shades of bright pink, pale pink and even red. They get this coloring from a surprising source, the crustaceans they eat. From their diets, they get carotenoid pigment which results in bright coloring of their plumage. Some birds, like sparrows, have small robust beaks. Others like bald eagles and peregrine falcons have hooked beaks meant for hunting. But roseate spoonbills have beaks that are wider at their tips than they are at the base. Hence their name spoonbill. These beaks are specially adapted to scoop small critters like frogs, small fishes, insects and crustaceans out of the water. These birds don't just eat small critters living in water, they also eat aquatic plants. Roseate spoonbills are true omnivores. They eat both plant and animal matter. One of the most incredible roseate spoonbill facts is that these birds flock together. They are highly gregarious and often seen wading in shallow bodies of water with other members of their species. They also fly together in formations of diagonal lines similar to geese. When it comes time to raise their young, they break off into pairs. Baby roseate spoonbills benefit from having two adult birds to care for them. When mating seasons come along, roseate spoonbills build their nest in trees overlooking the water or occasionally on islands kept safe from ground dwelling predators by the surrounding water. They don't breed until they are at least 3 years old and have 3 to 5 eggs per clutch. Juveniles are lighter in color than adults and relay solely on their parents for the first few months of life. Because of their distinct coloring, they can be found in zoos throughout the world. In zoos, they generally live around 15 years. In the wild, they are thought to have a lifespan of around 10 years. But one roseate spoonbill that was tacked as a cheek was photographed 18 years later still raising young. That makes the oldest roseate spoonbill 18 years old. It was born in Everglades National Park, Florida. Though not as large as vultures, condors, albatross, or emu, roseate spoonbills are not small birds. Adults stand between 28 to 34 inches tall 
and weigh around 5 pounds. Their wingspans measure up to 5 feet across and they have long spindly legs. Their bills are perhaps the most noticeable thing about them after their pink coloring. Both males and females grow around the same size with their long legs and lengthy flattened bills. Roseate spoonbills are perfectly adapted for life in shallow warm waters. Thank you for watching.